With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question. So here the question is write down the bond line structure of the following. Here we have is the four tertiary butyl heptane. Okay, when we have the CH3, CH2 example. So this is the bond line representation. So here we need four tertiary butyl heptane. Heptane we know that this is the straight chain of the seven carbons. It is the straight chain of the seven carbons which are connected to each other by the single bond. Which are connected to each other by the single bond. Okay. Now we need for the tertiary butyl. Now we need to know what is this tertiary butyl. Okay, so first we have is the butane that is our CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. From this we have the formation of the isobutane. Okay, from this we have the formation of isobutane that is this one. So this is also the form of the butane. This is isobutane. So from further from the isobutane we have the formation of tertiary butyl that is this one. CH3, CH3, here we have this. So here we can see that to this carbon, we have the attachment of the three methyl groups. Okay, so this represents our tertiary butyl. Okay, this represents our tertiary butyl. Okay, so now let's see the structure. We need the seven carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. These all are connected to each other by the single bond. One, two, three. So here if it is first, second, third and fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So here we have the attachment of tertiary butyl because it is given four tertiary butyl. So here we have C, CH3, CH3. Here we have is CH3. Okay, tertiary butyl can also be written like this. Okay, this can also be written like this. So this is the tertiary butyl. Now we need to complete the bonds of carbon as carbon acquire four bonds. So CH3, CH2, CH2 here it will be CH because here we only have three bonds CH2, CH2, CH3. Now let's see the bond line structure. Let's see the bond line structure. First we will have the seven carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. It is one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. At the 4th position we have the tertiary butyl. So this is the tertiary butyl representation. Okay, because this is our tertiary butyl representation. It can also be represented like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here it will be, here we have like this. Because this is our tertiary butyl heptane. This is four tertiary butyl heptane. Okay, so this is our required bond line representation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.